Yes, people, welcome back to another episode of Titan Talk. We're finally back. It's your boy Kyojin. It's the Kid AB. And Lasko. And Rahma. So we've got two very special guests on today. Um, and we also, we've decided to come back with a Halloween special. Um, and it's kind of like a scary Wait, episode. Wait, hold on. Did you, you guys need to appreciate the background, bro. We're not in the, we're not, no more Zoom things no more. <laughs> the price is, I like, I like the bag, the price has gone up, baby. <laughs> Quick man. shout out, Jukebox Studios. Yeah, my love, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Appreciate Jukebox Studios. But yeah, it's a Halloween special. So if you are someone who gets easily scared, tune in anyway, because I'm also someone who gets easily scared. Mm. So I'll, I'm going to feel more comfortable if I know there's viewers watching that also get as scared as me. That's because you get live in a cupboard underneath the stairs. Get out of here, get out of here. Do you know, do you know how... We're here to protect you. Yeah? Do you know how much of a scaredy cat I am, yeah? You know, in sixth form times, yeah? AB used to send me pictures of, like, gins and stuff at night, and I, 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 would, I would text him. He'd message me on WhatsApp, innit? Send me a picture of, like, some scary shit, innit? And I always, I was, I was always like to him, bro, you know I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, you know? <laughs> at least you just send me loads of pictures yeah. of, like, just scary shit, fam. It was... I don't That's how you know AB was the real demon. Yes, he was the real <laughs> demon. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. These are just allegations, man. But yeah, how how are you lot with like scary stories and horror horror and that? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Right. You just have to. You can't be like too scared of these things, you know. What about like, you, Asko? I can't say I'm scared. You get me? Like it's not even an option at this point. Like, I'm a grown man. Like. Bro, it's it's not not no, grown man against gins, bro. Nonetheless, I'm not scared. So you can see a gin and be like, yo, come outside. <laughs> I, listen, 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 like, I tested this in it the other day because we were like obviously planning all this. And I was yeah. like thinking, I started thinking about gins at night. So I was bro, thinking, that's like, a lie. I'm not scared. Now, you know how I know that's a lie? Last night, you know, we went to last night, yeah? Was it last night? It was last night, yeah. On the way home, yeah, we were talking about something scary, yeah? And we, I swear to God, we both we both shuddered. We went into like a dark place in the road and everything. And I can sense that we were both scared, fam. He was scared as well. He's, he's trying shit. Wait, when was this? I last last night, fam. You know what you were telling me about? Do you want to you, 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 you might have been possessed, you know. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you want to jump in straight into the first Let's one. Let's jump in straight away, bro. So, it, Lasker was telling me something that he sees at night sometimes. What? I wasn't scared, though. It was a scary experience in the past, but... I wasn't scared at the moment. Do you want, do you want, to, talk, do you want to tell us what, what it is? Right, listen, let's jump straight into it, yeah. Like, everyone's heard of, like, sleep paralysis, isn't it? Yeah. So, like, mm. like, like, basically when you're, like, it's like when in a situation where you're very sleepy and tired and you're awake at the same time, you fall into a situation where you're conscious and unconscious at the same time. So, you go into <coughs> sleep, but because you're so tired, like, you're, like, almost awake and, like, your mind sort of, like, mismatches between like being asleep and being tired. So people get into a situation where they're going to sleep, but because they're trying to stay awake as well, like their eyes can open when they're sleeping. So what happened was like, I woke up from sleep and then like, I could still see, I was sleeping and like dreaming, but I could still see like what's in front of me. And like, I didn't know at that point whether I was sleeping or dreaming. And like, I thought I was dreaming and seeing like myself in my, like from the perspective of my room. So I could see like, obviously, like the silhouette of my room and it was dark, right? And like, you could see shadows, obviously, because it's dark. And then there was a shadow in the corner of my room, like it's dark and it's like getting more dark and dark and like it's popping out more. And like it's coming to a shape of a figure, right? Where um, like of a physical body. And like you could eventually get closer and closer and you could see like, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> But I don't know why. <laughs> but why you laugh? Don't listen to me. Listen, listen, and then like you can see like it's forming into like human figure, and it's <laughs> getting to the situation where it's forming its hair, and I got look kind of <laughs> <laughs> they started looking like that, and I couldn't move at all. Like I was stiff, I was scared as hell, because like, bro, I get to a, got to a point where all of a sudden it just flashed and like it was in front of me, like looming over me, and I was looking, I couldn't see, I couldn't do anything, and like. It eventually came to a point like where I, it just looked like a witch, an old witch, you know, the stereotypical witch, and like hair was all ragged and everything, and like. Don't look at me, fam. Bro, like, like whoa, whoa, eventually whoa, whoa, I, could, on. I couldn't move, and it's it sat on my chest, right, and looking down at me, just looming, and its hair like. Wait, hold on, over. wait, wait. You're telling me you saw a witch sit on your chest, bro? That's yeah. You know that's what threw me off last night when you told me it was sitting on his chest. Cause you know, do you know what happened all of last night? Yeah. Wait, sit or shit on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> shit on my chest. Well, you think this is Dubai, fam? It's Saudi. You know? Listen, yeah. I'm I'm not, I'm not, last night gave that like, twenty bags. <laughs> I don't know what kind of situation you've been in, yeah. But listen, yeah. No, ain't no one sitting sat, on my chest. Sat on, sat on my chest, 
and I felt some deep pressure, like I couldn't breathe. And it's, it's just like, her face got so close, just looming over me, just looking at me like dead in the eyes. Like eye contact, and like, looked like a proper witch and I was scared of my life. And the room turned like, you know it has like this white tint, it turned to some red tint. And I thought I was gonna die because I was suffocating, like I never suffocated before. And obviously, I th- everyone's- Sorry, you been suffocating before? Listen, you can, everyone, everyone had a situation where I almost drowned, right? Everyone heard that story, yeah? So, suffocation isn't new to me, innit? And I'm probably, I'm probably going to be in a situation where suffocation happens in my life again. So, this is just one, one part of it. So, but at that point, a Muslim does what a Muslim does and recites Ayat al-Kursi and yeah. eventually, like, it's all just... Was it gone off Disappeared. Yeah, I mean, it's not my chest. Do you see my chest? <laughs> no, my chest no, I was doing it for the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was gone, man. For all you know, you, you could gone. be possessed all now, but it's funny, though, because, like, after that, I didn't even think back, about it. Back, like, you'd back, think bro, someone man. would be tormented after that. I was, I just forgot about it. Like, I just thought, like, okay, it's just part of my mind, like, whatever. I just yeah. did not think about it, and I forgot about it completely. Yeah. Like, was it I like a recurring happened, thing, or was it one thing? It was just one time, but funny enough, like, I don't mind sharing this. My mum, she always has sleep paralysis, but she didn't tell me about anything about, like, any, like, any, like, you know, para- supernatural, paranormal, mm. like, creatures or anything. But I know that people do have sleep paralysis. They yeah. do have situations. Like, it's documented all around the world, like, hundreds of years ago. Like, all around the world, there's been situations where, like, there's this creature or, like, witch or, like, demon sitting on people's chest. Like, mm. if you want, you can research it and you'll see it. Bro, no, no, one's, no one's thinking that you're lying to anything. We believe you, bro. <laughs> no, but I'm just, I'm you, just trying to show you know how You know what you told me that last is. night, yeah? Like, very common. When yeah. I got home, I refused to sleep on my back last night. Like, I was... and. I don't know, because I was, I just sleeping on my side, innit? And then, like, curiosity got the better of me. I was like, let me just try it for two seconds, innit? See if I feel anything on my chest, innit? I heard uh, people uh, that, that have regular sleep, sleep paralysis, they have a notebook next to them, and they write down what they see in that. Really? So, so say, like, so say night one. Yeah. So say, like, Lascar done, yeah. like, had a notebook. He would have yeah. written what he wrote. He wrote, so night one, he would have wrote what he saw in the dream, yeah. innit, or whatever, yeah? Yeah. Then he would go to sleep reading that. So in right. night two... He could try to see it again, but more will happen. No, you're talking about lucid dreaming. Yeah, I think that's oh, lucid that's dreaming. it. Yeah, yeah. lucid dreaming. Sorry. Lucid yeah, yeah. Dreaming that's dreaming where, like when you can't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but what's called? That's brazy, though. Have you guys had sleep paralysis before? Nah, not that I can recall. I no. think I have. You know, I've I'm. I'm sh- I, have, I have shit sleep, so. I think I have. I can't remember my dreams. Like my dreams are just black. I've had like something similar to you, where it's just like, um, it's because someone was telling me something scary, and they told me that they could see this in their room. Yeah. And I w- it's, it's at the point where you're so tired, like when you close your eyes, you start seeing money. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not a sudden. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, but basically, what you have to understand is my room, yeah? First, let's go see my room in it. My room is like quite. Pause. My room is quite <laughs> scary in it. I'm not like tired. Yeah. You've been in my room in it. Basically, yeah. if you might see Harry Potter, Harry Potter's get bedroom out underneath here, the stairs get out of here, get is his bedroom. To be honest, Harry Potter's room is a bit better. Get out of here, man. <laughs> at, least, at least Harry Potter's room got light on that. Yeah, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Anyway, so the thing with my room is it's like the extension of the house, isn't it? So all the way around is just like windows and a see through door. So you can see into the garden at night. So, like, scary shit happens. Like, for example, like, there's always like a, like a chopper going around my house, like a helicopter in it. And one time, like, because the chopper's there to, like, check for fugitives, isn't it? In yeah. alleyways and stuff, yeah? Someone tried my door one time well, while I was, like, I was awake. Someone what? So while, while the helicopter was going around, yeah, um, that means that they're looking for a fugitive in the gardens and stuff, innit? Someone tried to open my door, like, while the helicopter oh. was going around, innit? So even since then, I've just been a bit paranoid, like, every time I hear... I thought you should get a floodlight, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relax, hey, relax, relax, relax. That's, that's, that's not making it, is it? Yeah. <laughs> but like, now every time the helicopter's up there, I just get a bit paranoid in it. <clears throat> yeah. But then there was one time, someone was telling me that, they, were, they messaged me like, oh, I need your help. And I was like, well, what's wrong in it? Yeah. Like, I can see an old lady sitting in the corner of my room. Oh my God. In and your I, room? Not in my room. They, they will message me saying they can see an old lady sitting in the corner of their room. Hold on. Obviously, I'm quite close to this person, yeah? Yeah. But in that moment, I was thinking, don't message me right now. I don't want to know this. It's mm. 2 a.m. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm, that's not what I'm trying to be talking about. That's what I'm trying to talk about. Sound like you know some scary movie. Pass on the curse, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And then I was <laughs> like, the <laughs> ring. I was like, let me forget about it. Yeah, it's one of those things where I think about it so much. Yeah, that wallahi, I saw the old lady in, sitting in the corner. <laughs> my, I saw the old lady sitting in the corner of my room. Yeah, she's on a rocking chair, bro, just rocking no and way. smiling at me. Wallahi, it was scary <laughs> as hell, bro. Just sitting in the Listen, corner. Listen, bro, why is it always Bengalis that have these gin stories, bro? Yeah, bro, the it's one, always the one, you, the man. Back home, I swear, it's always you, man, bro. The ones from back home are quite That's crazy. Fuck. I don't have any stories like that. I can't lie. Do you know? Yeah. My, my parents get sleep paralysis quite a bit. 
There was one where we lived in Church Road in it for three days only, yeah. And um, so the door wouldn't close, so everyone had to, someone would have to stay in the house all the time. So I think this was playing on onto my dad's mind, didn't it? Yeah. And it was it was a situation where we, there was only two bedrooms because you know it wasn't a temporary uh, permanent house. And I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor. My dad and my little sister were sleeping on the bed. And then all I hear is him start screaming in it. And I've heard this before, so I wasn't too shook in it, but I was just woke him up like, you're right, wake up and stuff, innit? Wait, 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 your dad was screaming? Yeah, yeah, like sometimes, like, so he had that <coughs> sleep paralysis, he'll, sh- he'll shout in his sleep if he sees something in, in the room or something, innit? Um, or if he has, like, a night terror. Night terrors are, like, common, common innit? It's like a, a dream, where it's a nightmare, but you can shout out loud in yeah. real life and stuff like that. So, because he, he has a lot of tension and worry in it, so that's what happens to him. But then I asked him the next morning, what happened, innit? And he said to me, that he saw the room, he was asleep and he saw the room and instead of me, my older sister was lying on the mattress and in the the door next to me, my head basically, there was my sister, there was like a shadowy figure coming to take my sister away and my dad was like screaming like, don't take her away basically. But in real life, he was just he was just shouting out. But yeah, that's what he saw like a shadowy figure trying to take my sister and everything. Uh, there was a period of my life, yeah, <coughs> this is so fucked. So th- there was a period of my life, I used to, I used to have dreams of me dying. I've had that I swear to God, bro, but bro, it wasn't Wait, once what? or twice, bro. But isn't that like some of the first meant to mean something? I hope not. I hope not, bro. <laughs> I, I'm young, man. I, I, have lot, I have a lot I need, I need to do, man. No, but you don't need to say that. It might be, I don't know, maybe like, like something. Fortune is coming for you, or oh, like, okay. you know what I mean? Whoa, it might mean something. something, like, like, it could be a sign for something else, you know? Oh, okay. Like, yeah. when people say that, like, something is a sign of, like, yeah. not good luck, because obviously I don't If that does happen, yeah. Yeah, and eventually on the podcast, this podcast is going to blow up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh uh, I might have to be the second for Shalama, like. So anyway, <laughs> listen, the road, I remember one dream, yeah, where I got stabbed in um, K Playground, bro. I got stabbed in high school. Yeah. With pen? Huh? With what? Actually, I no. don't know. I, I can't remember, G. I, I don't remember, yeah. yeah. But I remember, and then there was other times where I would, I would get, like, shot and stabbed and that, yeah. But, like, I would, I'd, like, so I would die and I would fall down, yeah, and I would mm. die, yeah. No, I wouldn't die. Like, I would be like, oh, shit, like. This is it. <laughs> you know like, what I'm saying? Shit, so I'm dead. Yeah, it's like, no, 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 no. I didn't say I'm yet. dead. No, no, no. Okay. I said, oh, fuck. Like, this is it. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then, um, and then just before I die, bro, I wake up, like, mad sweaty. Okay. Like, yeah. Then I read online, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like some random to your Insta, Insta, like, uh, pick or whatever. Yeah. That um, people don't die, like, when they're dreaming and that, they don't die. They don't see them dying oh, in the sleep. You, you don't know what's on the other side. Because the brain don't know. Yeah, the yeah. brain don't know what it feels like to die. I imagine that in your yeah. subconscious. I was like, bro, that's mad. But, but bro, like, I was, I was speaking to the um, landlord about it, innit? And, mm. then, and then, I don't know, I was like, and we just had some mad deep conversation about it, innit? Was something like that almost happened to you, man, recently. The COVID situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true still. Yeah, it's true. And, well, well, for the viewers, we didn't, we didn't talk about, we didn't record after. Yeah, we haven't recorded since you got COVID. Ah, uh, cool. So, anyway, another side note. AB nearly died. I nearly died still. He, he, uh, did you... Uh, bro, a part of me dies still. I can't <laughs> lie, man. I'm not the same guy anymore. But uh, anyway, so I got COVID, yeah. and the first, I'll say, four to five days, yeah, I was just bed bound, didn't it? Mm. Like, I couldn't do, couldn't do nothing. And then I think it was like the fifth or sixth day, I felt like my chest started tightening up in it, and then like, my breathing started like fucking up, yeah. Then I was like, fuck. And I was, I, and I, and I, was, I was just looking around here, yeah, and I was like, shit, man, this is it, man. I'm gonna <laughs> die in my room, like, fuck. Then, um, but it wasn't helping. Do you know what I'm saying? Then I, t- I told my sister, no, no, no. So I texted my sister, my bank details, innit? Yeah. And she's like, bro, what the fuck's this? <laughs> and then I was like, this is just, just in case, innit? Just keep it <laughs> for your, f- you never know what happened. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Because if I die, if I'm like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's, yeah. and then, At least you thought it was smart. You know, when I had COVID, yeah? Yeah. It wasn't when I had, I, when I had COVID, I wasn't that bad. I had a fever and stuff, yeah? But when I got like, I have the first dose or the second dose of the vaccine, yeah? Like, I woke up in the middle of the night, like, in a fever and stuff like that, thinking I'm going to die, yeah? You thought to give your bank details to you, like, your family, innit? I thought, who am I going to give my shifts away to at work? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're finished. I was thinking to myself, like, who should I give my shifts away? I was talking to I myself. I think they'd understand. Thing. Yeah, for real. Right? <laughs> I think they'd understand. It's subconscious, isn't it? Because maybe because yeah. I was so stressed with work as well at the same time. Because yeah. I was like, working from home, innit? Yeah. So you can't really take time off, yeah. even if you have, co- like, vaccine and stuff. Wait, Jesus hold on. Do yeah, you have Jin stories? Um, yeah, so I, I got a story about... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why is my love is <laughs> Jill? It's not a funny story. It's not me. It's not me, okay? So it's a story that was basically somebody sent in to me. Okay. And um, obviously, like, you know, this is like quite a... I understand it's like quite a touchy subject for people. Um, mm-hmm. 
So Wait. we love him. <laughs> I can't help it. I have to. I, lo- uh, I laugh. It's a coping serious, mechanism. Serious, 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 serious. I, serious, serious. I laugh in situations that I'm not meant to laugh. Oh, no, yeah, no, I think no, everyone yeah. understands yeah. this. And yeah. I think yeah. we, we all yeah. understand. It's in fine. a way, so the basically, views don't care. So she must have. Um, I think she was um, back. She was back home, right? So she must have. Are we allowed to know what country? Yeah, Somalia. Oh, okay. So it's like okay. my my home country. Yeah. And then um, she heard some like noises and stuff. And then, like, I think it was like a a meowing sound. Huh? <laughs> okay, because it was a cat. Hey, bro, I got a cat, man. Don't do cat. that. It was a cat, right? <laughs> it was a cat turned into like a figure. What the fuck? What, wait, what, what, what figure? Like a person? I think it was like a like, like a, a shadowy, shadowy figure. figure. Like a shadowy figure, if I'm correct. Bro, that, that was definitely so, a basically, cat, you know? I can't backstory, it was cat. Ramadan. Yeah. She finished praying by the window and she read the Quran after it's iftar. And then it sounded like the cat was crying after she observed. The crying got worse and she looked again and the cat vanished and she just saw like a black shadow. What was after that day? You, you know, you know how, you know how I said, you know how I said my room is all windows, yeah? I always see shadows of like cats walking past the fence and stuff like that and cats crying and like foxes and shit. Nah, mommy was fucking Well, fuck this. cats, man. I can't I lie. Apologize. I hate cats. <laughs> yeah, it's calm, it's calm. I hate it's calm. cats, bro. That's a madness, I can't lie. What would you do in a situation? If, if What I, would you do, yeah? yeah. If, can we say your cat's name? Shiva, yeah. Yeah, that dickhead. That's, well, a, wi- that's a witch's like, name. Sheba? Yeah. Bro, it's name no, like it's a queen. Queen Sheba. Get out of here, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's a witch's name as well. Queen Sheba. Like, no, witch. it's the queen. It's yeah. I thought it was named after the fucking the pet food. <laughs> get, get, get. First of all, <laughs> that story of um, people saying that a snake bro could turn into a cat. Oh, oh yeah, he spoke <laughs> about it, you know. What did he so say? basically, he was like, this is like, I think this is around the time that he started like, blowing up. This is a time ago. Okay. So basically, he's saying he got chased yeah, into me- uh, in McDonald's toilet, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so they say yeah, when they open the cubicle, his clothes on the floor and a cat walked out. <laughs> it was Shiva, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, it's not my cat, okay. Relax. Imagine you see your cat just laughing in the middle of the night. <laughs> <Is that him? laughs> just keep waving. Just keep waving out, right? <laughs> oh man, nah, God forbid, I stop. What's, what's your dream story? My dream story. I'll let Koji, since Koji has a story, Koji's story. Like, um, it's your I, story, bro. There was, there was a dream, uh, while we've been on dreams in it, there was a dream that I told uh, Laska the other day. I'm, I, f- I think I'm going to have to name names because there's people we know in real life in this. Obviously, you won't know all of them. Um, and I'll try to remember it as best as I can in it. Um, but basically, I, I was having a dream, yeah. And we were at school for some reason. We were like in the office building or something, innit? Um, and then the thing is, you know, dreams can get a bit blurry, innit? So there was a person that was like, on beef with us in it, but it was I like the person at the same time it was Luke from high school, but it was also some random mixed race guy that I've never met before. But it was them. You've met him though. Sometime in your point, you've seen that mixed race guy. Maybe, you can't, you can't have dreams about people. You haven't he was seen. wearing a suit and stuff, and I've, like I, I don't I didn't recognize him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but he was he was both of them at the same time. Like I remember the dream. He was like the that person <laughs> was both of them. Like sometimes it was Luke, sometimes it was this random guy. Um, so then I'm f- I'm like I'm going to punch him yeah, man starts levitating, <laughs> like bro he levitated f- like above my punch. That's like some boss fight you. I know. swung and he <laughs> levitated, and well like I was like I was be like shit down a gym. I'm fighting a gin. I I deep in my dream I'm fighting a gin. I was like uh-huh. this is the end of how can I fight a gin? Did you win? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember too well. Well, just for yourself after you finish the story. I can't remember too well in it. So, like, I'm thinking, bro, how am I going to fight a gin in it? And then um, one of the characters from On My Block was there as well. Mm. So he went to get. I, I don't know if you guys seen On My Block. Oh, we're talking about Attack the Block. I'm no, not right. uh, Season, if you, have you seen it? No, no. Uh, so there's a character called Season. He went to get his older brother, and then his older brother was like a gangbanger, and he bought gun. He bought a gun. I was like, bro. Wait, so he's telling me this brother bought a gun for a gin. I was. That's what I, I said to him, bro. <laughs> listen. It's not gonna work. He's a jinn. He's flying, man. Yeah. <laughs> so he shot him, and he went obviously went through him in it, like a like a evaporation. Like thing, the twins it? on Matrix, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he went through him. Yeah, I was thinking, nah, this is all over in it. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I said it's all over. It's all over. And I'm deep at this point. Yeah, I'm thinking it's real. I think it's real life in it. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I'm just like, yeah, this is it. I can't I can't fight a guy who's flying, bro. He's levitating. Yeah. So then, I think you know when you your dream hits a cutscene in it. Just goes to the next scene in it. Yeah. So it just ended there, and it went to the next scene, <laughs> and we were at, <laughs> bro, we were at the mosque. Where, you know the church where we pray Jummah. <laughs> Wait, what? So the, basically, there's a church on my road, yeah. Yeah. Where me and Laska pray Jummah in it, 
Um, and that, there's a hall they went out to pay drama and stuff. So I went. I was. I remember I was rushing because I was late. <laughs> Why like you might you might join the choir like <laughs> no, instead no. of jump off you go. Did they have a women's section? No no no. Okay. So was, we were rushing. I was rushing because I was late. Yeah. And I kind of realistic, you know. No, <laughs> kind of realistic. <laughs> I was like, I don't want my dad to be angry at me if I'm late to jump in it. Just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> that's what sold it for me. That's what. That's why I thought it was real life in it. Yeah. So I'm running to the I'm running to the the mosque and everything. Yeah, I've thrown any clothes and stuff. Yeah. Then I go there and you were there. You were there as well. It. I don't know why you were at the mosque, but you were there. Innit? Yeah. <laughs> and then um, you were there too. We say he's trying to call up the manager to scrap it in. No, no, no. We were all, all there. We just we were just at Juma, innit? And then so we go into Juma. And there's like loads of desks. It's like uh, the hall's bigger and there's loads of desks. And we're thinking, me, us three and my dad were there. And we're thinking, why is there a desk in it? And then the imam at the front goes, oh, before Juma, we're going to have a quick art lesson. I'm thinking, what the hell? Why, we having a, why are we having an art lesson? Yeah, this is so weird, isn't it? So I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing art. I didn't come here to do art. I'm going to go home and get a change properly in it. And there's biryani on the side. So Fahd, uh, Laska went to go eat the biryani on the side, yeah? And then you were just chilling doing art. I don't know why. It's pretty realistic. You know? <laughs> and then I was, I, I was, I was went to make wudu in it. And then as I was going to make wudu, I realized that the shirt that I threw on was actually a pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So I'm wearing a pillowcase, but it had sleeves and everything. I don't understand. It was, it was, I recognize the pillowcase. It's my pillowcase. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm wearing a pillowcase. Yeah. I'm that's not the something you actually wear. Though. Something I, I, I with this. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, that's bed sheet. <laughs> Get out of here, get out of here. Bro, hold on. If the viewers can see, this guy's trousers, bro. Oh, he had to what, roll, he it roll it up. up. He had to <laughs> roll <laughs> up because it's covering his whole shoe. Get out of here, get He's out of here. He's tripping over it. But anyway. Yeah. I tripped over it. <laughs> get out of here. I was wearing a wedding gown. <laughs> so I'm wearing, I'm wearing a pillowcase, yeah? And I just realised, I'm like, I got time now. I can I can go home and get changed, innit? Uh, next episode, Kyoj is wearing a pillowcase. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I might do, I might do, innit? Just for reality, innit? <laughs> And I'm like, I'm gonna go home. But as I'm walk, about to walk out the door, yeah, out of the wudu area comes the jinn. Oh, but wow. yeah, he he comes out. The, uh, so he hasn't been in this ep- part of this episode so far, innit? He was in the previous scene, and it's, suddenly he comes out the thing and he says salam to me and everything, yeah. So I'm thinking, is it the guy who was did the jinn take his form yesterday, or is that the actual jinn in it? But all I knew is I'm not walking home by myself. Wait, is this still a dream, yeah? Yeah, this was still a dream, oh, innit? Cool. Um, Obviously, didn't know it was a he, w- he was about to walk outside the mosque, innit? He was like, Salam, brother, you're right. I'm just going to go out for a smoke, innit? I was like, Yeah, I'm not going outside while he's there, innit? I, I'm, I'm praying my pillowcase. I don't care. I'm going back to the mosque. <laughs> and then, yeah, just, yeah, then my dream oh ended, innit? Yeah. That's that's how. It, yeah. Wait, so how big was the pillowcase? <laughs> how big was the pillowcase? Like it was. It was the and where you wearing? Where are you wearing <laughs> those trousers? No, no, no. It was. It was. It was like a pillowcase tracksuit. Oh, Even my wait. trousers were another set of pillowcases. <laughs> Two pillowcases. Wait, wait. Oh, so did that one pillowcase for both legs, or was it pillowcase each? It was. It was, one it was, it was like pillowcase material, but it was like shaped <laughs> like trousers. Hat and talk merch coming soon. Just bare purple and black pillowcases. No, it was it was um it was blue and yellow, my pillowcase. I'll take a picture of my pillowcase and send it to you. I don't want to see your damn pillowcase. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think I'll see it. This, is, this guy's a perfect, you know. <laughs> Mom was like, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this guy coming like that grandpa that grandpa from uh Family Guy. <laughs> family guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey Chris. Uh, yeah. I think I want, sorry, sorry, I've got a lot of stories, you know. Yeah. Um to say that the best ones, man. Well I'll tell you the the most realistic ones first, right? Mm-hmm. So this is this one involves death. Okay. So it's basically um, a situation where my auntie was about to be born, right? And um, so my grandma's mum was on the way to visit, like uh, her daughter giving birth to my auntie. Yeah. So back in those days, like people get lynched for murders, and <coughs> like there was a row, like a like a street where the lynchings would happen, or like the hangings would happen. God and damn. these were like one of some of the most notorious like killings mm. or like mur- like you know criminals that they were like they done heinous crimes and stuff like probably worse than the story that scarier than the stories that i'm going to tell in it and so this knows road is notorious for that so because she was getting late for the birth she didn't want like she was obviously concerned for her daughter and like her granddaughter she just wanted to get there as soon as possible running a bit late and she did no one really it was late at night as well so no one really like takes that path like it's just not frowned upon to take that path no one does it but because it was a like rare situation she decided to take that road yeah. and what happened was like she stepped in something and like meanwhile these trees the, these trees were like hang like w- had bare people on it like 
a lot of people and huh? you could see them and everything as in the trees had people hanging from it yeah because like they, oh so they, they wasn't hanging. like a like they didn't build uh execution place they hung them off the trees they hung them off the trees oh, i don't okay. know if it was legal or if it was like like mob okay know. like vigilante yeah exactly like That's actual what. people in real life yeah i yeah. mean i don't know if it was a lot but there were people still hanging on those trees like they were yeah. executed like and stuff. yeah yeah but, like no, but is this something that only she could see or something that was actually there this was actually there oh yeah. okay yeah, yeah. so <laughs> she decided to walk this path towards you know while she, like she needed to see her like granddaughter being born she stepped in something and she didn't know what it was it didn't feel like you know something normally stuff like a puddle or whatever it felt like weird and like obviously it was dark she couldn't see what it was so she tried hurrying through that road as quick as she could and there was barely any lights in it like those days you'd like go mm. with a candle yeah. so imagine how creepy it was for her and like she felt a burning sensation but she just firmed it right and like afterwards she got there and everything, everyone said you shouldn't have gone through that way like you know i heard this and that happens and like she was like so scared and then um a couple of days later she passed away and who died the like my grandma's the mom grandma. oh, she unexplained that unexplained like she was completely fine as well she was healthy she was able to walk properly no health issues and before people she like, passed away did she feel any type of like she i wouldn't feel like burning on her leg or something they felt she felt burning for some reason on her leg when she stepped on something yeah right and like they checked they did an autopsy and they were like if she's fine we don't understand why she passed away and like Damn. there was a whole commotion like you shouldn't have gone down that way like mm. they did discuss all of that like Damn. after she was born and when she told them but like it's just like there's like superstitions in it like yeah. you shouldn't yeah. go to these places and there's reasons for it and yeah, yeah. I, it could be coincidental you know like yeah like i heard a story i can't remember yeah. where it was about it was like a lake or somewhere and then they stopped people drowning in it because they believe that there's like um like things in there that like drown people or like, drag you or down. like they drag people down and like kill people Damn. And like i don't know where it was but apparently somewhere where there's like a lot of drownings happen there even though i don't think the water is that deep where is it so the people like, were just honestly, like swimming i can't remember yeah it's like they have that that superstition in like um you know like caribbean countries like yeah. don't go into the near the ocean at night like there's a big superstition about like because the mermaids will drag you into the ocean we, ha- we have that with um the only people have that with um you know after maghrib you can't yeah. you shouldn't really go out near like trees and grass and stuff yeah. like that yeah Cause that's where like gins that's the same thing with, that's like, like, gins, yeah so like trees. one of my mom's uncles um he like he was hella brave and he's like i'm just gonna go out you know like j- do hood rat shit with my friends in it but this <laughs> is like in like rural bangladesh i mean yeah. where there's no street lights or anything in it so he was like to his mom now i'm going out and stuff in it so he went out to like the fields or something uh, but these are like country roads where it's all like as you said like just just trees and 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 dirt on the floor in it so he's walking he's walking yeah he's walking like on a, a empty road but then suddenly he turns around and there's like a a lady he heard like a laugh in it so there's like a lady sitting there yeah and she's wearing a full full uh, bridal gown like the asian one in it so the red bridal sari in it um and she's like got like proper white makeup on um and she's just looking at him and he looked at her and then she just starts laughing like cackling in it like proper creepy just like laughing her head off in it and then he like basically he's like this is fucked up let me just walk away in it so he starts <laughs> walking away she gets up and starts following him yeah all the way just laughing bare like just l- the whole time just laughing at him and then like then he ran away and then got home in it but it's just like uh, like proper cre- she might have been a crazy person yeah. in it guys is it me or did it get really cold in here relax <laughs> man because when you said that it did <laughs> did it <laughs> a little bit oh, yeah shit. i got goosebumps well, I, 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 I don't know about you I but i'm warm man. oh shit man no, Jesus Christ. But my dad, my dad said that as well. He said, like, back in the day, they would have this superstition that all, like, pe- his elders would tell him, like, when they come home from the market and it's not, like, yeah. well lit and stuff in it, they would just see, like, a jinn, but in different forms. So sometimes it would be, like, a shadowy figure or sometimes it would be, like, like a, kind of like a witch in it, like a lady with, like, crazy hair everywhere and stuff in it. Um, and basically what they so would... I knew he was going to say that. But basically what they would do is, like try and like confuse you so you didn't make it home they would like try and direct you to go another way or like walk into a lake or something and then just like drown there basically or something oh. and, like nav- they'll navigate you to places everywhere but your home basically i heard jens can actually fall in love with people i heard that too. like humans yeah. and yeah. i heard that too i've got a story about that actually yeah yeah go on yeah. basically it was like um this brother hold on yeah you like you know too many stories i need to move over well, to I that, that i can't <laughs> line bro i keep loaded man basically it involved like um my dad's family right they're 
where they live is um, a neighbor, mm. like they're a Hindu neighbor, right? And th- there was like a situation where the son committed suicide because okay. the girl um, he wanted to marry, like ran away, like left him or whatever, died. Okay. And um, what happened was like she came back to real life, like to life, huh? like yeah. while he was alive. Like she committed suicide first, so he committed suicide. But it's some Romeo and Juliet yeah, shit, bro. It's, it's, it's similar to that. So yeah. she committed suicide, and he became majorly depressed. Couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Just used to like sit in his room, like look outside the window, think about it all the time. Yeah. And then what happened was like this gin came, like this gin. She came, basically came back and started yeah. visiting him. No way. And like he was like having conversations with seeing her, and he started telling people, and no one could see her. And he's saying like, "What? What do you mean? Like, so I he's can see to lose him. his mind, kind yeah, of thing." Yeah, I think this mm. the situation where he just started to lose his mind, and like, yeah. like he said, like she must have a situation where like we could be together, but you have to commit suicide. Oh, so we can be together and shit. Yeah, and like he did it, and like, <gasps> literally, and it's funny because it's not funny, but like the Massive, strange funny, thing is, it? yeah, like you could see the room where he used to live, and like you could just for my like where my where my family stay, you could just see across the like space where you could see where his room was. Really. Like, that's the scariest thing. That's some scary shit. Yeah. I can't lie. That. Are you guys ready for my gin story? Go on, go on. Go on, man. Drop it. Nah, cool. Bear in mind, this ain't no dream or nothing. Yeah. Okay. So something is that this happened your personal, to you. Is this your personal story? No, 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 no. It's something you heard. It's so this is the source. Yeah. Say does it, ha- it happened to the source. The person who told me was the source's relative, like cl- really close relative. Mm. So <coughs> like they were like, anyway. Told I'll, gin I'll, stories to them. And they told you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it happened, and then they told. Yeah, they told me. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't straight from the person. I'm not yeah. uh, even if you try to tell me, I'm not gonna chat to her anyway. <laughs> Is it that bad? Uh, listen. Okay, okay. So. Fudge no man. Oh, joking. Too far, bro. <laughs> Go, you're come, come. Gym, man. <laughs> um, No, man, tap <laughs> the thing. You're violent. <laughs> you're violent. My thing's no, we just hold our hands and then like a gin will like form the. No, not not <laughs> in, not in <laughs> this not in this vicinity, bro. Four pentagram, right now. Four pentagram, hands and you hold hands. But don't even say, but don't even don't touch that, man. Um. So basically, this family here uh, lives in Victoria, innit, yeah? Mm. And um, see, like, when you live in an estate, yeah. at the bottom, there's, like, bin sheds. Uh-huh, That's yeah. where you, you go downstairs to throw away your, your yeah. shit, innit? Yeah. Um, so she threw away rubbish one night, yeah? Mm. And then she came back and she started moving mad bookie, innit, yeah? Um, she's, she's, it's like, she's like a mother, innit? So she Wait, has, like, two kids, yeah. Oh, bro, I don't know why it always happens to us, bro. Yeah. But you might have tracked this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Are you not Bengali as well? You mean? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, what, what, okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Continue. Why, why, you like huh? why are you saying all that? Because I don't look Bengali. Bro, yeah, you do, fam. I, when I first <laughs> met my AB, yeah, I thought it was Bengali. First question I asked you, yeah, excuse everyone, like, are you Bengali? <laughs> <laughs> why, fam? Why? <laughs> this is the first day where everyone's crowding around him, innit? Like, he's a popular guy. Like, I just need to find him. Fully was convinced it was Bengali. Why was I found my people? They are lies. I've never been Bengali. I need to recruit all the ones. Like, oh, uh, like, well, like what were you saying? Um, she started acting beaky, go, go, like went up, went upstairs to her flat and I uh, started moving mad beaky. Um, there was like a list of shit that she was doing, but the one I remember, yeah, is um, so one like they were sleeping and the husband was sleeping in it, the dad was sleeping, and she was standing at the edge of the bed, huh? just watching him sleep. Like, Wait, what? Yeah, so bro. She's, she's. So who's in, who's in the bed? The dad. Okay. So the dad wakes up, yeah, and yeah. she sees his wife, the Marge, like like. Standing at the edge of the bed, watching okay. him sleep and that. Yeah. yeah. Just like shit like that, innit? And then... Um, does he, does he tell her like, oh, you, 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 why are you moving I, mad? I, well, I don't know. Okay. They are my relatives. <laughs> okay. Um, so then, yeah, the, the kids are all crying and that, calling up like people. Yeah. And then... Um, then, then the mom comes here. Yeah. Um, to, to, to obviously do his thing, innit? And then, um, so she's talking to the gin, and it's like, oh, like, um, oh, so, like, what do you want with this gin? Oh, yeah, so when uh, the, the, when the imam... Like a little interrogation thing. Yeah, so when yeah. the imam came here, yeah, there was other relatives there as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, like, the mom's, so the person who's possessed, yeah. her sister, yeah. was there with her husband and her, yeah? I don't know why, um, okay. but they were there, yeah. Family gathering, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The gin <laughs> gathering, and So, <coughs> so cool. So their mom's like, you know, if your cousin told you, oh, my mom got possessed by a genie, yeah? I'm would telling him safe, bro. I'm deleting like his contact. Yeah. yeah. Would you man go? No. 
I don't think I would go, you know. Yeah. Like, if your cousin told you, oh, my mum got possessed by a djinn, and we're going to have, like, zero rookie, innit? Yeah. Would you either? I mean, I'm just thinking, yeah, like, what benefit are they going to bring? Like, if anything is... I mean, like, I feel like usually, I feel like usually they don't really call women for these things. Yeah, know, that's like. true, that's true. Yeah, like, that's I, I can offer, like, moral support, but I, just, I have <laughs> oh, no... From a distance. I have, I have no business. I can do that from my house. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Why would they call me? Like, what am I going to do? Like, the only thing that's going to happen for me doing it is, like... Me getting possessed. That's exactly. Like so what if the gin? I like what if the gin goes out. Be like, you know what? No, I like this you guy. Know you know. What, you know. You know what it is. Sometimes as well. Like, I feel like the the strength that they have inside them is not like the strength that like a normal person would have. So I feel like sometimes like people are used for like restraint. And oh, okay, like, like to that. hold them down kind of thing. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. Also, might be, I'm not saying that women well. can't do that because women are strong too. <laughs> But I feel like usually they call they call men to do that. But also, <laughs> I think they're there to like recite it as well at the same time. <laughs> I don't know, innit? I don't know. So they were there, yeah. That, that's that's a, one of the key factors to the story, yeah. So, so who's, my, who's my bad who's recitation there? will probably make the gym even worse, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, instead of going forward, he's going back in. Exactly. Yeah. He's not reciting. So I, I don't, don't, don't want to go back, go back, back up. In, I don't want to go back up. Um, okay, so who was there? Who's so there? the Marge, the person who's possessed, mm-hmm. the dad, yeah. her husband, sorry. Yeah. And um, the possessee's sister and her husband. Yeah. Possessee, like employee. So, so and, and their mom, obviously. So the mom's like. Um, I was doing an interrogation like to the gender and I was like, yeah, man, also, what you, obviously not yeah, man, but what are you doing to this woman? Like, yeah. Yeah. leave this woman. Like, what do you want with this woman? Yeah. You know what the gender said, bro? What? The like, aim, hey, I just want some chicken and chips, man. I ain't. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm chatting shit. <laughs> I'm chatting shit. The gin said, bro, yeah, he said, um, this one bumped into me in the bin shed. That's creepy, man. So it was just chilling in the bin shed and the mum came and bumped into her. Yeah. He like, no, 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 no. The, yeah, yeah. And he was like, let me just chill with this yeah. one. Yeah, and then, uh, no. Yeah, but I feel like, like, to be careful about places, like, where there's, like, where there's, like, Filthy bins stuff. and yeah. Yeah. bathrooms. Toilets, yeah. Toilets, yeah. yeah. And, bro, she turned to the fucking sister and said, this one's got one in her as well. What? And she's calm, like. Clot twist, she she's like. calm, like, she's mo- she's doing a thing, like. Mm. She, and, yeah. Did she say, where have she picked up her one? Bro, I can't, like, I would have fainted right then, then, you know. Imagine like co- like you as a person being a sister, yeah. Yeah, being taught mean. you have a gin in you. you and, 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 their, and their mom's like, "Yo, my, you're too strong, man. I need to cut out here and breeze out." Uh-huh. He actually said that. He obviously didn't say that. Like, I phrased it, yeah. but he's like, "Yeah, you." This, so he's like, he's like, "I right, call cool, safe." Spoke to the dad outside. He's like, "Yeah, this is this one's too strong. I need to cut out." So he's like, "What? This is the too strong. I need to call the strong. Avengers." No, no, the gin's too strong. <laughs> What's the analysis that made, made it come to that conclusion? What, what do you mean? That this gin is too strong. Well, he's, oh, he's, I know he's, him, he's, man. I think, I think it's the fact that he's dealing with a tag team combo, bro. Yeah, Matt and, and Jeff Hardy, gin. fam. <laughs> two of them. Matt said the brother's a destruction and that. You know what I mean? Kane and Undertaker. Uh, that was crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I think I've seen, like, a, I've met and spoken to a gin, I feel like, yeah. But then I, it might just be me being childish and not remembering things clearly. You know what I mean? Well, you need to elaborate. So, I went to Bangladesh 2002, innit? But I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. But it, it, on in yeah. retrospect, it might have been. Right? Yeah. So I went to Bangladesh in two thousand two, and uh, the, I was obviously like I had quite a bit of <laughs> freedom okay, and stuff in it. Two times you gone I had a bit of freedom. Fool me once. <laughs> really, you were scared. <laughs> yeah. you scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of gins. I don't care. So then. Um, no, I don't care, but... Basically, it's just a normal holiday, innit? Um, I met my auntie there. Uh, I've never met someone that went to Bangladesh had a normal holiday. No, Something it was, always happens. It was a normal holiday. We went, met my auntie. My auntie who lives here, innit? Uh, she was over there. She was getting married and stuff like that. But she was crying. She was in her room just crying. And, and But then uh, w- me and my sister were playing with her and stuff, yeah? And then, um, you know, I was playing like playing with her. Like, just, you know, like, how you do, like, you do, like you do with your auntie, innit? I don't play with my auntie. <laughs> No, but she's she was wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Cut. You might you might play with your auntie. <laughs> Bro, I keep what's my Okay, listen, listen. You play yeah. with your auntie. Listen, but understand this. I was like in two thousand two. It better be monopoly, bro. No, it was it was either two thousand or two thousand two, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong is you got a dirty mind, fam. Nah, nah, he's one that's stuff. You guys got dirty minds, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Well, well I, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, this not this guy's thinking. I'm not applying off a day. This guy's thinking. But it's the fact that you play with your auntie. Well, she was like 16 or something at the time. 
Oh, that, oh. You know I mean? Did you get mad at 16? Bro, don't you, don't you play tough. with your nieces and nephews? Like, you entertain them. How do you? You told me you never play with your nieces and nephews. You were older, right? I don't, have, I don't have any nieces and nephews. Or your younger cousins and stuff. You never play with them? Yeah, of course. So I don't understand so, where the confusion but, is. So, so you're, she's like a, like basically like a cousin almost. Like, she's I like, thought, no, no, no but I thought she was way older. older. She's my, bro, even you, like, you're, you never played with your grandma or something, bro. I mean, nah. <laughs> my grandma will break her back if I try to play nah. with her, bro. But nah. I'm not talking about fucking WWE. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, not talking like, about, I'm not talking about clothes lining my auntie, am I? But I was a fat, high priority kid, but my grandma can't keep I'm, up with I'm, that. I was, I'm talking about just like playing like fucking I Spy or some shit like that, bro. You never play I Spy with your mom or something? Don't yeah. say, don't ask me the question as if it's normal, man. <laughs> bro, I know you play I Spy because you're looking at different, Spy different Spy. directions at once. <laughs> Easy, why are you laughing, man? Huh? Look at me straight, bro. Like, wait, <laughs> so when this guy plays I Spy, he spots two things at one time. You have to, you have to give two answers. Say none. Say none. By the way, guys, viewers, remember this. Cross that bitch, man. You crossed me better today. But no, I didn't. Just remember, yeah. No, but no, but there was Charles. Right, relax, relax, relax. So, I was playing my auntie and stuff in it, and I was asking like, <laughs> why he sad, didn't it? I asked why he sad. Like, she was like, oh, cause I'm getting married and stuff like that. Um, and she was crying before I, before we went in there, and then we cheered her up and stuff. Yeah, getting cold, yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. We cheered her up, and she's just in a room, and it's like she's wearing like a sari and stuff. Yeah, and it's like a bridal stage in it, but she's sit, she's like sitting cross legged on it, and we're just playing with her and stuff like that. And then I get home, yeah, after afterwards uh, from Bangladesh, and I'm telling her the story. I was like, oh yeah, we went to Bangladesh, and you were there, and you were getting married and stuff. And she's like, what? She's like, I didn't go to Bangladesh. But like she wasn't joking with me at all. She literally didn't go to Bangladesh. So like wait, 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 hold on. Wait, what? you went to Bangladesh to yeah. see you your auntie. Playing with your auntie. Uh, like it was a normal holiday, and she in one part of the holiday, married. she was getting married. She was crying in the room. We went to cheer her up. We're playing I Spy or something with it. Like just like general. Like, so when your parents, you yeah, when the other her. people there, it was just me and my sister. And she saw the auntie too. I've never spoken to her about this, but you need to go and speak to yeah, her. Yeah, if, she, yeah, if you're watching yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never spoken to her about this. <laughs> I never spoken to her about this, but yeah. I, I remember saying to her like, "Yo, so listen." So your auntie, did she, you, you seen her anywhere else tonight? So, so, I, so I was like to her like, "I'm sure you were there." And she was like, "No, no, no, I wasn't. Like, I never went to Bangladesh this year. I, I, I never got married in it." And the thing is, the crazy thing is, yeah, she actually got married and and did, wasn't like a happy marriage and stuff. Uh, like, like very soon after and everything. You know what I mean? So you saw things? I might have. Oh, bro, you played with it. So you're telling me you played with the gin? Oh, do you know what? All I'm saying No, no, no. I, you, I, I bro, I'll walk out this door now. You're telling me I, you played with the gin? I feel like the reasonable answer is that I must have played with it. It must have been one of her cousins or something, innit? And I must have, I must have like, not recognised who it was, innit? It must have been... Like, is that your, like, um, like... So what you're saying is... Is that, is that how you're you trying to... You don't usually play with your auntie, but your auntie that was the gin, she had lots of fun. I lie. <laughs> yeah. I guess that makes you all right. She sent me loads of magic tricks. No, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 this stuff started levitating around the room. Oh, no. <laughs> Sheba was there too. <laughs> <laughs> My sister Sneeba was there. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, so. But I feel like I was just. I said, bah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was just someone else in it. It yeah. must have been someone else, but. Should I, should I read one of my other stories? Yeah, yeah, go on. I was too scared to read them when I was like, I'm joking. I was very brave. <laughs> That's that joke. I was very <laughs> Okay, um, so this person's friend, um, this person's friend woke up and saw that the wardrobe, um, the doors and the drawers were opening and shutting by themselves, <laughs> and the mirror. Trying to get some drip The mirror was spinning around. <laughs> yeah, and the windows and doors of the room were all closed, so it couldn't have been the wind. How fast was the... That's but that's even if the story. doors and windows were open, yeah, the wind's not going to spin the mirror around anyway in the first place. Yeah, unless one of those, you know those mirrors that rotate? I've never seen that in my life. No, I've never seen I don't know what it is, but I'm You sure have no mirrors in your yard anyway. I'm you sure just it said must I had exist, a the around. ones that like are stand-up mirrors, like standalone mirrors. That was spinning? That must uh, like spin. And there's also like the vanity... <laughs> but I said trying to do the spin ring, like the book tea thing and that. The vanity mirrors, you know the ones that are like circles, yeah, you can yeah, like yeah, flip it. And then the other side is like more in, enlarged. So like she woke up and her mirror was just spinning. Yeah. I would have gone back to sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, that's, I, <laughs> this must be a dream. Yeah, you know must I mean? be a dream. Spinning? Yeah. That, that gin was having a disco in there, man. Quiet <laughs> time, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like disco, yeah. disco, disco, disco. Oh, four, four part story, yeah. okay? So this, yeah, so this person was in boarding school, in high school, which meant that on Sunday, the whole school had to watch TV at the, in, at the hall 
and um, we fit. Oh, so basically, after two hours, it's the story. This is definitely the Islamic, story's, Islamic boarding The story is divided into like four parts, so I'm like nice, putting juicy, it together. Juicy. And so they were all so basically they were all in a hall yeah. assembly basically kind of situation I'm assuming and basically the power and everything went out and it didn't come back for like five minutes which was because the generators in the school basically went out and um, they got locked in the hall and girls like ten of them got possessed. Huh? Nice. And what like did they look like? And a stampede happened. This gin a stampede. Yeah. This gin is a serial killer. After man. five people got, got got possessed, like the other girls must have got scared. So, so, so about five, oh, the other five were too slow. Then they got possessed girls look like appear. Like how probably, yeah. from, do you know it's probably like you know like Attack on Titan, like just running around. They might just having fun, bro. Like, <laughs> like it could have been. Um, my friend was telling me about a story about how um, <laughs> my friend saw a girl that got possessed, yeah. and like her body actually like levitated. Fucking Harry Potter. It's the, it's the, it's the, so basically like, it's the, so she was like, she was literally like, go. wait, can we just message? They might be having fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh it, was, it was a two in I, one. You know, you know what? When he said that, yeah, she goes, I thought he just left. What? Your body just left. Oh, liberty. <laughs> Was it like a 90 you know, degree angle? You know, like, no, it's, it's like, so basically... You're the ones in like your classroom. It's like, I think like, so it was in, a, life, it was in like a bus. Up. So like her <laughs> body was like happened. pressed against like the top. Of she the was in a bus and she was attached to the roof. <laughs> it was like a, I think it was like, yeah, some kind of like bus. So her body was like, went from sitting down to there. <laughs> and then <laughs> later, Wait, the bus and then later on it herself. happened again, where like her body raised so high that they like had to grab her like a balloon and, like her yeah basically they should have like, let her, let her go yeah. man she, she was happened. just tied a string to her <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but she was like a normal girl she's uh, just short, yeah. we should laugh bro. We should that's laugh. deep man that's not pretty normal though. <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah but like you know these, <clears throat> these things happen no she was just like a normal like normal girl, yeah. why does that change things I think if she's tall, <laughs> yeah, she might be going up and down. <laughs> 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 I can't lie, Islamic boarding schools are like a hot spot for yeah. for gins. My cousin went to Islamic boarding school, and he he was just he was just chilling outside the dorms um, one night in it, walking around the corridors and stuff with his boy. And then one of the old people from the old year came, and the guy said "Salam alaikum" to him in it. They walked past here. Yeah. He's walking on the same mind. He's walking on the same corridor. Yeah, same guy comes past and says "Salam alaikum" again. Walks past again. Third time says salam alaikum again. And he's thinking, what the hell? This guy's fast, but he's doing, la- he's doing laps around the school, isn't it? He's thinking, this guy's bare fast, isn't it? But then he sees him again. He's like, bro, why'd you keep walking around the school like so much, isn't it? He's like, bro, I just got out of my room. He's like, I just got out of my room. Whoever you've been speaking to, dying me. So it's like a, it's a hot spot for, 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 you know. It's for the yeah. levitation activities. Yeah. There's an, another one like that, you know. I've g- it's like a boarding school in it. A lot of boarding schools they have a lot of bullying in it. Yeah. So <coughs> this girl is Islamic girls girls school in it. A lot of bullying. One time this girl's chain got broken off when she's <laughs> she go, chain got popped. Her chain got broken off while getting bullied in it. <laughs> and then bro, she started acting demonic. Like started like like growling at people, like scratching at people like an animal basically in it. Mm. And then basically they cut, came to the principal office. And obviously they have the facilities <laughs> to do the <laughs> exorcism and shit like that. Yeah. And then basically the, the parents got called in, and the parents said that yeah they knew all along the chain was there to I keep the gin in. What? The the chain was there to hold the gin in, and when they broke the chain, the gin came oh, out. That is nuts. Bro. I, I, I don't I don't believe it for a second. I can't lie. So I've got I've got another story about a girl, and she says that she used to live back home, and a girl pulled up to the masjid for, um, for like morning prayer basically, and then she started stripping, yeah. and then they thought that she was like hot or something, um, but she was literally just like wearing like like a vest, and then um, she started sprinting towards the men's section of the masjid. And then she said that she was so fast she could have been mistaken for you, Satan Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> exact <laughs> wording. And then, but then she said, luckily, they they were able to hold her back before, like, yeah. Before she went to the next spot section. Yeah, and then so it's basically like her body was like possessed. That gin was horny, fam. So I mean, straight to, for the man. <laughs> it's stripped, it was straight for the man. Fudge time, you know, this is early, early mm. doors, you know. 
Steam away to ask the mug or anything. First thing in the morning, why <laughs> first, crazy, first thing in the morning, that's, you know how mad that is. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. But it's both the story of the man. I don't think these jokes can make the edit, by the way, you know. They're a bit <coughs> explicit. Is what is, isn't it? Yeah. It really reminds the situation, actually, like, early in the morning in the mosque, yeah. Basically, it's like in a village in Bangladesh, right? Uh, it was in my mum's village. There was a situation where um, there was a robber, right? He was running. He must have stole something from someone's, like, house. And obviously, the village is pitch black dark. So, um, it was around, fu- like, before Fajr time, right? And obviously, it's still dark. So the police found out they started chasing this guy, right? This guy was running. Didn't know where else to run. He ran into the mosque and apparently what this burglar saw was like tall figures just praying. Like white figures, like like bean poles, like literally. Huh? <laughs>